Mexico City. I did a film of Romeo and Juliet here when I was 21 years old, so it's been 20 years since I've been back. It's an honor to be back. Especially with your celebrated and acclaimed masterful director, Alejandro. And no, I mean, the, the reason you work with somebody is not just because they win an Academy Award, it's because together, I, I knew that Alejandro wanted to submerge himself in the natural world and portray new glasses story with incredible authenticity, almost like creating a documentary. So, um, for me, I think film is a director's medium. And they have the ability to submerge you in a completely different environment and have the rest of the world be erased and have you just be submerged in, in, in something entirely new. And this is, that's, at its best, that's what film can do. And, and uh, so to work with Alejandro for me was uh, really a dream come true. I think that there's nobody else that could have accomplished what he accomplished in this film cinematically. And I would love to do it again sometime. To me, it's interesting because it's fantastic to be acknowledged by your peers. And I think we were very excited that um, a film of this magnitude that took so much effort and so much focus from so many different departments for such a long period of time got recognized on this level. Um, you know, our cinematographer, our, our, our supporting actors, all the different departments who really um, went that went the extra mile. That certainly feels amazing. It's ultimately not why you do these films. You do these films because you want to make a great piece of art. And when you make these movies. It's now beyond our control. We've, we've done all the work, and it's up to everybody else to judge whether they think this film is worthy of an award or not. So there's actually a tranquility that you have about the whole process. It's in other people's hands now. But I truly believe that you know, what Alejandro and Chivo have, uh, have uh, accomplished with this film, like I said before, it is something that goes beyond awards. I think it's groundbreaking cinema. And uh, you know, many films, whether this film wins or not, uh, films are not discussed as history unfolds, whether they have you know, awards attached to them. They are discussed about what they've contributed to the art form. Thank you. Where the weather was constantly changing around us in, in, in radical directions. And that's a misconception about climate change. People think just because 2015 was the hottest year in recorded history and December was the hottest December in recorded history, that it's only about heat waves. No, climate change is not global. They've changed the term from global warming to climate change because climate change means there's erratic weather in both directions. It can be incredibly freezing or incredibly hot. Now, we, we've created this with uh, our modern society, and now, you know, we're reaping the consequences. Uh, the problem is that we're still in a situation, certainly in the United States, where we have climate deniers, even though 99% of the scientific community has come out saying that it's absolutely a fact that man is contributing to climate change. We've recently had a, a major turning point in Paris where Finally, the world has taken this issue seriously and made concrete steps to inhibit the amount of carbon emitted in the atmosphere. And we can only hope for the best. This is going to be the most complex problem that all of mankind has ever taken on. And for me, a gratefulness to be able to make films like this. And, you know, I think that you often think about what makes filmmakers and, and their history. And the, the idea of being an outsider to Hollywood, which I felt as a young man as well, once you get your foot in that door, you feel almost so incredibly honored to be a working actor or a working director that it's very much like winning the lottery. You feel incredibly lucky. And that, that same spirit I felt every day with working with these two men, because you know, oftentimes, oftentimes we can get comfortable or cynical in our positions, and I just felt an intense gratefulness that we could be sitting out 
even though it was freezing cold and, and sub-zero temperatures and far off locations and a very difficult shoot, I think we all felt, uh, uh, we felt incredibly lucky to be there. And to watch their process together was very much like, was very inspiring because I saw the inspiration of almost young independent filmmakers out there on a grand, but this time they had a massive canvas to paint. And that was so exhilarating and exciting as an actor to work with two men that would push themselves every single day and take chances that you'd never think that were even possible. I remember the first time I breathed on the lens or the first time blood spattered or spit splattered on the lens and Chico said to me, don't worry, it's okay, it's okay, keep going. These were the things that uh, you know you pick up afterwards when you when you've made a film. You reflect on these moments that oh my god, you know now we're watching the movie on a grand IMAX screen and people are talking about these these camera movements and these things that are groundbreaking and they, they have to be seemingly by accident. But I know so much thought was put into it by Alejandro and Chico together, working for months and months uh, beforehand, and both of them coordinated these shots in such a masterful way that was so wonderful for me as an actor to work with because I got to I got to just focus on what I had to do performance wise. So I think your other question was an Oscar question. Yeah. <laughs> Which was, um, um, I'm not sure what the question was, I'm sorry. Um, I mean of course.